Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here, Hobbytown Hobbyplex, and we're here for an actual What's New Wednesday on a Wednesday. Uh, we did get quite a bit of stuff, and so I don't want to waste your time too much by talking. Let's just dive right into it as usual. Um, showed up today, fresh out of the box, we've got the Power Hobby belted 1.8 scale GT Beast tires. So these would be for um, pretty much any 8 scale car, but I think they're really geared towards your infraction and your felony. Um, we also have another set here, the uh, grippers, also belted, and then we've got the wide grippers. So we've got the front and the rear, you can see there. And then, uh, whew, glad we didn't sell them all. We have some Defender uh, MX belted terrain tires from Power Hobby. These would be for like your Traxxas Max, um, size wheel, maybe, maybe Stampede and Haas um, if you're blowing rims off of them. We had some Raptors too, but a gentleman came in today. He was really happy that we got them in and he bought them right away. So, uh, let's see. We got some bodies. So this is the uh, Ford F-150 pre-cut from Proline. We got in a drag body. This actually came last week and I, I forgot about it for the what's new. So I'm including it on this one. This is your uh, Pontiac GTO Judge body. Got a whole bunch of these in. And then we got in the... Uh, for the, for the uh, front wheel drive, uh, those new, I don't know, what do you call those? They're not uh, they're not sedans, they're like coupe. It's a coupe body, but it's uh, called a Hiberia from Biddy Design, and it's for the front wheel drive cars that are out there. Uh, we haven't really seen a lot of those around here for racing wise, but um, I know the drift guys come in looking for new stuff. I think that'd be perfect for those guys. Um, now we got some parts. So our mini racing has been picking up speed the last couple of weeks. We've had uh, more than 20 entries on a Tuesday which is pretty good for Tiny Tuesday Off-Road. So I got in some uh, chassis protectors for the Mini B. Um, you can also use them for the Mini T if you cut it up just a little bit. Uh, here's a car stand from MIP to go along with all of our MIP stuff. Uh, J Concepts just officially announced these today. We've actually had these for a little while. They're in my box because I plan on buying them, but they're uh, brass pieces for your regulator chassis. So if you have a monster, like a uh, clod buster, Bullhead uh, monster truck with the regulator chassis, and then this is supposed to uh, create some stiffness and some ballast, some weight, some unsprung weight on your monster truck so it handles better. Uh, we actually got these in last week and I forgot about them, so they're included now. Uh, these are the Hyrax tires on the impulse bead locks for your uh, SCX24. You can see here they're a three screw bead lock. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. And uh, that's good. Decently priced for all four of them too, $26.99. If you don't like the rims, you can take them off and you can put them on these slick, awesome uh, Samix. Samix? I never know how to pronounce that. It's got an I after it, so it should be Samix, I think, but uh, whatever. Anyways, these are super rad. So our kid Tristan, who works here, he initially ordered these and then we're like, man, those are really cool. We should get those in. So they're, they're pretty neat. They got some weight to them. Uh, we got our own 124 scale course that's gonna be done here pretty soon. There'll be a video on that, and uh, I suspect that uh, our 124 scale section will be blown up. Um, we got in some Redline 6100 uh, drag packs. So this is 130C, um, two cell LiPo, 6100 milliamp hours. Um, I'm sure you could use them for more than drag, but I think they're kind of tall and they're short. So um, the drag guys on a lot of the graphite chassis and stuff, they're putting those batteries all the way forward. So uh, trying to get uh, as much weight as they can um, dispersed away from the center of the track center of the chassis so I don't know it's really cool I should have opened them up so you guys can see them but they're heavy too really heavy. okay now we got a gaggle of new cars and uh, man look at this uh, so to start we got the new body style on the on the dr10 your uh, your Lucas oil um, paint scheme or livery isn't that what they called it livery livery I think it's livery Anyways, uh, so there you go. So another new body style for your DR10s to go along with the purple, green, and orange. Um, then we got in a couple new uh, ready sets from Kyosho with their phaser chassis. Uh, we got in the GTO and then the 1970 Charger. And uh, people are really digging these cars. You're not buying this car for the uh, track performance or anything. You're buying it for the scale realism of it and Kyosho's really hitting it out of the park so we're we're basically buying them as soon as they come out with them um today fresh off the uh 
off the truck, we got an NT48 2.0 kit. Um, people have been waiting almost a full year for this thing to finally come out. The electric one came out first. Uh, funny story, uh, yours truly got really excited because his son wanted a nitro truggy and uh, I wasn't paying attention and I actually ordered the electric truggy way back when it came out, I think May or something like that. And then I was gonna put it together, uh, start putting it together during after our show and I realized during the show that it was an electric version, not the version I wanted. So uh, so finally, the NT is out. Hopefully my son doesn't watch this because he'll want me to get one. And I'll be like, dude, you gotta wait. It's $729. Um, okay, we got in the new um, Axial Capra with the rear steer already installed in it. And uh, the original Capra was a really good seller. Guys were taking them. Um, buying all the axle pieces separate and making them rear steer. Well, now we've got the rear steer out of the box. And then from uh, Rock Hobby uh, FMS, you got the uh, LC80 Land Cruiser Toyota. Uh, these are extremely detailed uh, hard body crawlers. So you got interior lights. Um, this is just uh, another addition to the stack of them that we, we brought in um, to go along with it. And also, this will also be used on our new uh, 124 scale indoor crawler course when it's done. So I'm, I'm excited to get that done and going for you guys. We got in the new colors of the uh, Ford um, F450 from uh, Sen. And uh, I think it's silver and red. Uh, we got both in. And then this guy right here came in today. Uh, finally, been waiting around a little while for it. Um, I think shops are just getting them now. So the Supra GT4 from Traxxas. It's on the uh, 3.0 Fortec chassis, so it's got that little bigger size to it, um, so the body and stuff can be a little bit more scale. So um, it's brushed, so it's not crazy expensive. It's just 329, and uh, got in a couple of them right off the uh, right off the bat. We'll probably end up getting a few more uh, once we sell a couple. So okay, I think that's it for kits. We got all this in like two days, like this week. So got that in. All right, now uh, on to the funner stuff. Not funner different onto the different stuff i wouldn't say funner because i have a lot of fun with rc stuff i don't know what i'm saying right now um i haven't had the proper amount of caffeine today uh so we'll get to that here in a second um this is a nerf a big giant nerf gun uh flip 32 we have a, a really good nerf selection so um if you guys are out there shopping for nerf stuff and you're, you're, you've gone to the big box stores and they're all cleaned out, um, give us a try because we do have a lot of the harder to find uh, Nerf guns and everything. So um, this is one of the bigger ones. We got a lot more than that. Then something from when I was a kid, check this out. Lego, uh, is it Duplo? Duplo? Whatever. It's a kid's Lego set uh, with cars. Push and go, right? Fun. Uh, yeah, I, this is the first time I've seen this in our store, so I thought I'd include it. But uh, I remember playing with that stuff when I was a little kid. Uh, speaking of Lego, we don't have a crazy tech, uh, a crazy Lego selection. Um, a lot of it is because we don't really get that good of a cut from Lego, and uh, it's it's hard to compete with some of the bigger box stores that have a lot of Lego stuff. Um, but the Lego stuff that we do have is either hard to find, or it's uh, cool stuff like this, like this Grave Digger. Uh, Technic uh, Lego kit. So come check us out. We do have a nice selection over there. It's not a. It's not like you know half of our store. But uh, like I said, a lot of what we have is um, the niche stuff for Lego, right? Um, okay, this blew my mind when we got this in last week. This is a an EVA Pod uh, 2001 Space Odyssey model from Mobius. It's $160, okay? Um, it's a skill level three, so it's, a, it's, it's, it's $160 for a reason. It's a very high skill level model kit. This is a deep dive into science fiction here, folks. 2001 Space Odyssey. If you've never seen it, do yourself a favor and find it and watch it. It's pre-Star Wars. It's kind of slow and methodical, but man, it's, it's, uh, um, it's just such a good, it's a good watch, really, honestly. Very intriguing storyline. I actually like the sequel. The sequel is like, I always read about how the, the uh, is it 2011 or whatever it was? It was like panned by critics. 
I love that movie. I don't know why, but this movie's really good, and uh, you got yourself a model um, based off the movie that's uh, very intricate and kind of expensive. So thought I'd include that in the thing too. Uh, slot car sets, can't forget about the Plex for slot car sets. I brought over the Mario Kart one because this is highly sought after usually every Christmas. Uh, the Carrera sets, the Go Carrera sets are like a 143rd scale. Uh, they're one of the few sizes that you get like loops and wall rides and stuff nowadays. Remember when I was a kid and Tyco was out there and you had the glow in the dark wall ride stuff and all that. Um, and that stuff's not really around anymore. Uh, Carrera is about as close as you get. So loops, um, wall rides, uh, collision pieces. I think uh, even one or two of them might have a jump. And then you got your Tonka. This is a legit Tonka truck. So we got a bunch of this stuff in. I brought over the dump truck because this is kind of iconic when it comes to uh, kids' toys and stuff. This is actual uh, metal. It's got plastic wheels, a little bit of plastic on it, but but this is not your chintzy um, construction toy. It's an actual Tonka truck. So we got a whole bunch of this stuff over there. Um, and they're not crazy priced. I mean, it's $62.99. Honestly, that's cheaper than the Bruder one. And the Bruder one's plastic. So say what you want about that. And then finally, I grabbed a couple things here. So this is interesting to me. Uh, this is ramen noodles. Noodlies. Ramen noodlies. Uh, so squish them, stretch them, knot them. Contains five noodle clumps. I suggest not eating them. They're not ramen noodles, like for real. And then finally... Um, I need something like this in my life. Uh, anything that is supposed to be a stress reliever, um, I probably should get, especially because when you work here and you're trying to get stuff done and you just get interrupted constantly all the time, and uh, which is fine. I love you guys. You, you All you customers that come in and ask me questions. Or like when I'm eating, that's always great. When I, when I finally get some lunch and I bring it in, I go to the corner way over there, just try to stay out of everybody's way so I can eat my food maybe say hello to people that walk in and then and then inevitably one of you guys which I love you guys I really do but one of you guys will always come over to where I'm trying to eat my lunch mid shoe and ask me a question when there's like six employees on the other side of the store so I love you guys to death I you know but at times like that I probably should have this with me at the same time so that I can squeeze it as I'm as I'm answering your question with my mouth full of chicken nuggets so this is a, a globby uh, stress reliever, dull guy, whatever. Right? Hey, where's the monster at? <sighs> we were going to include monster energy uh, uh, coffee drinks. And they're not here. So that either means that we didn't actually put it there or somebody drank it. So that's probably what happened. Uh, but uh, but we do actually have one. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. So at, at the Plex now, we've got Mean Bean and we've got Loca Mocha uh, Monster Javas, which is fantastic. Um, I don't really like Monster that much, but I love these. And so I'll probably end up hiding these so that uh, I have a stash of them when I need one, uh, when I can't get through the day. So. It needs to be a little bit colder, but uh, but there you go. Uh, that's it. That's it. Oh my gosh! Hold on. One more thing. Check this out. This is a Gen's Ace uh, bashing battery, 6800, six cell. With comes with the uh, EC5 connector already on it. This is for you guys that have like um, like a Creighton 6S, uh, Outcast. Um, infraction, all that stuff. So I almost forgot that we got these in today. We got these in today. I bet you you could use them for flying too, just because the C rating is really high. Um, but yeah, there you go. Almost forgot that one. It just happened to be here. We got pretty lucky. Okay, now for real, uh, that's all we got for today. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, tell your friends. Um, we'll make another video for you soon. Probably have after hours Thursday nights, and don't forget about the podcast every Monday at six thirty. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.